Chairman Priebus when we talked about this program about two years ago, when I said that if you don't pay attention to Texas and you don't pay attention to making our party reach every community, you're going to lose the ball game nationwide. And he said, oh, well, we're going to do this and that. I said, you know what? Just save your words. When I see the cash, that's how I know you'll be serious, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, actually, we're getting the cash now, so I think he's serious. But the reason you can tell that this is an important county to us is because we're spending money in this county. The RPT has three full-time employees here. That's more than any other city in the state of Texas. You got Mitch. Where's Mitch? Mitch, Mitch yeah. Carney. Mitch is right back there, director of Victory Operations. We've got Rosalba right there next to him. We got Andrea somewhere right there. Y'all are hiding from me. <laughs> Y'all don't be shy. Are they doing a good job, by the way? Yes. Yes. Because if they're not, let me know. <laughs> But there's a reason we put three full-time people here, and you might have noticed they've already been here for six months. So what does that mean? That means that they're going to end up being here a year and three months before the election. That has never happened before, to have field staff here a year and three months. And we hope, you know, knock on wood, the funds continue, that we'll be able to keep this concept going year-round. Now, uh, the chairman mentioned 14.7 million. We've actually raised over 16 million. So we have to make sure that the money keeps coming in. So as so long as that money keeps coming in, we'll have people here. But these folks will be here to the election, and, and we hope beyond that. But the reason they're here is because we want to make a statement. And the statement that we want to make is the RPT is going to do battle in every part of the state, even places where Democrats yeah. think they've made in what roads. We're going to not yield them one inch of territory, and we're not going to yield them, more importantly, a single community. We don't believe there's a single community that the Democrats can count on their vote long term if we do our job. And to that end, the future of our party, I think, is totally dependent, especially in Texas, on whether we go out and we get a significant effort in the African-American, Asian-American, Hispanic communities, every community is important. But those communities cannot be ignored. And let me tell you what the states are. There are 18 states in the District of Columbia that have not gone Republican since 1988. 18 states in the District of Columbia that we have lost six of the last six presidential elections. You have to say those are Democratic states, right? And if you think we're going to change those states anytime soon, look at what those lists are. New York, any hope? <laughs> California, any hope? <laughs> Surely you think Massachusetts has hope, right? <laughs> Vermont, Delaware. I heard a lot of ha's. Yeah, right. There's a couple of states we always think we're going to win. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, right? Yeah. You hear that every day? We haven't won those states in a quarter century. <laughs> haven't won those states in over a quarter century now. So we really can't count on them, can we? What do they total in electoral votes? 242. It only takes 270 to win. So what the stakes are that if the Democrats take Texas, we have 38 electoral votes. And we're going to get some more at the end of the decade as well. But right now we have 38. That means that all the Democrats have to do to control the White House forever is hold their base and add Texas. That's it. We can win Ohio. We can win Florida. We can win Iowa. We can win Minnesota. We can win West Virginia. We can win North Carolina. All the swing states that we send our task forces. You know, remember we had the Texas task force, the big mighty state. Get rid of it. Don't go anymore. Those states are not near as important as Texas. We can win every one of those states, and you'll have a Democratic president if you turn Texas. That's why the Democrats are here nationally. That's why Obama has sent his A-team, the national field director for Obama, the lady who ran Ohio for him for five years. Tonight, as we are sitting here, they have a party going on in Austin tonight celebrating the one-year anniversary of Battleground, Texas. Now, I told them 
I wish I could go celebrate with them. I told them the press today that called me to comment. Because I said, since they have been here, Wendy Davis has gone down from an eight-point deficit to a 15-point deficit in PPP. <laughs> Six-point deficit to an eleven-point deficit in the UT poll. So, given another year, we should be up to about a twenty-point lead. And I said, you know, the other thing they should celebrate with us is the fact they forgot to run a single candidate in eighty-six counties countywide. Eighty-six counties out of two fifty-four, they didn't bother to run a single person. Thirty-five counties, they only ran one person. And some of these are not small counties. Denton, Collins. 66 state Republican House districts, they didn't bother to run anybody in the primary. They didn't even feel the full slate of 17. Why? Because they're trying to throw a Hail Mary pass all on the governor's race. That's what it's about. So that, why does this fit in for Bear County? This is one of the areas they're counting on. So we're here so that they can't count on this area, right? Mm -hmm. So what are we doing and what are we trying to accomplish through uh, these programs we're doing tonight. We're trying to make sure, number one, we said in the statement that everybody is welcome in this party that believes in our principles of limited government, defending the Constitution, etc. And that's the message that should go and permeate through every community. And so what we have done is st started a program we have today, nine, nine full-time staff members just working on engagement. We have seven full-time staff members that do nothing but work with the Hispanic community. Another, uh, Tommy Coleman works full-time in the African-American community. Melissa works full-time with the Asian-American community. We just chartered our second uh, statewide auxiliary, African-American auxiliary. We just chartered our first statewide Asian-American auxiliary, and it's working. We were at the Chinese New Year celebration in Fort Bend County, hundreds of people this weekend. No Democrats were there, about a dozen Republican officers. We were at the Vietnamese County Fair about a week ago. Over 400 Vietnamese <coughs> Americans here in Texas signed up for more information. In one day, 400 signed up for more information on the Republican Party. But it's not enough for us just to go ask for people's votes and to support the Republican Party. We want to make sure that people from every community have an opportunity to participate in this party. And that means learning how to be a precinct chair, going to the state convention, learning how to become a SREC member. That's one of my goals. We made an effort last time to reach specifically the Hispanic community. We had over 600 delegates at the last convention of Hispanic descent that were there for the first time. I think that makes a difference. And we're trying to get these numbers up even higher. So what we're trying to do today is through our staff, just go over. Some of, from some of you, this will be old hat. Some of you will be the first time you've heard it. But even if it is old hat, it will kind of be a reminder uh, of how to get involved in our party. We want you involved in our party. But we want you not just to support our candidates. We want you to take an active role. We want you to show up at your precinct conventions and voice your opinion. We want you to go to our senatorial district conventions and help elect the leadership. We want you to go to the state convention and pick who is going to run this party in the future and what this party will stand for. And I can't think of a more powerful message to the media, and this is what we're trying to accomplish, that when that television camera pans our 11,000 delegates, those 11,000 delegates will be obvious are representing people for every one of these communities. And I'll tell you what that will do. That will undercut the argument that the Democrats are making that we only allow certain types of people in our party. And finally, I'll just say this. We know this works. Why do we know this works? Because the results told us this. Gallup, I don't know, did anybody see the Gallup study two weeks ago? Gallup did a study of Texas and other states and concluded that the Texas GOP gets the highest percentage of Hispanic citizens that identify as Republican in any state in the union. The Dallas study also showed that we've increased over five years of percentages, uh, six points to where 27% of your fellow Texans say they are solidly Republican. Now that doesn't mean we just get 27% of the vote, because we get a lot of the independent vote too, so we're averaging about 40% of the Hispanic vote. 
Now here's the kicker, and I love to point this out to the press. And I also pointed this out today when they talked about how successful Battleground has been. Over the last five years, the Democratic support among Hispanics in Texas, according to Gallup, which is not considered a conservative organization, has dropped from 53% to 46% in the last five years. So now, for the first time, maybe ever, Democrats are no longer getting a majority of Hispanic support in the state of Texas. And the press asked me today why that is. And I said the Democrats missed a key point. And the Gallup study talked about it. The Gallup said that the Democrats have miscalculated because they didn't realize the Hispanic community is, is not homogeneous. And matter of fact, they were kind of implying they're kind of prejudiced by just thinking everybody's the same, right? Mm -hmm. That Texas, Texans of Hispanic descent are different than Californians of Hispanic descent, and that the majority of Hispanics are conservative, which is what our poll is showing. That's our hidden thing. The other reason why we know it works, and I'll maybe make one final point on that. The National Party has declined in the last year, and the state of Texas has gone up. So that means it can't just be a national trend. It shows we're doing something right, and the rest of the National Party is not following suit. And I think that that's an important thing to point out. The other reason why we know we're being successful is the percentage of Anglo vote has been shrinking in the governor's race uh, from 75% to 68%. You can look at the presidential races like 68% to 63 on the last election. Yet, we are winning by a higher margin. We won the state in 2012 by 16 points in the presidential. We only won it by 14 four years earlier. Now, think about this. If we're not getting a higher percentage of the Anglo vote, which we're not, and the Anglo vote is shrinking, y'all following me on this? Anglo vote shrinking, we're not getting a higher percentage of the vote, yet we're winning by wider margins. What is the only mathematically possible conclusion? That we're getting a higher percentage of minority votes, which is in fact what we are. So this works. So hopefully you'll stay engaged. I'm going to turn it over to my staff that hopefully will go some through reminders from some, new for others, on how to get involved. Because we want you involved to be part of this party. Because we don't only just want to hold Texas. We want to have Texas lead the way for the National Party so they can see how to do it. So we can take back the White House, take back the Senate, and take back our country. Thank you. Yeah.